Hello there, welcome to Tai Chi 101. Um, tai Chi is a basic movement um, combining uh, philosophy along with physical posture. What most teachers does not tell you about Tai Chi is the physics and science involved in Tai Chi itself, such as walking, standing, maintaining balance. For instance, there's reference in the body that a person uses. First of all, there's the heart and there's the Dantian. Dantian is the three inches below the belly button and then the heart's right here. Any movement goes above the heart requires uh, great efforts. Any movements between the heart and the Dantian does not require efforts. Like when you do movements like this, you do this for a long period of time, it doesn't require any efforts. And you do a movement like this, which comes above the heart, which requires a great deal of amount of efforts. There are two series of moves that a person have. One is called, called a constant, and the other one is called an occasional. In other words, your body was designed in such a way that you could do some movements, you could do it consistently, without getting exhaustions and other movements when you do it, you do it just a few times to get exhaustions. One is the typical um, example of this is that if you were at a tennis match and you're watching a tennis match and your head is moving back and forth, you could only do it a few times before you start developing pain or tension in the neck. But there are six muscles that control the eyes that you could move it back and forth all day without ever getting exhausted. The difference also between constant movements as well as and uh, occasional movement is that your body was designed in such a way that the occasional movements are meant to get you out of a situation, not to put you into a situation, but to get you out. Constant movement is something that can be done repetitively and it has almost no uh, negative effect on the body whatsoever. When you look at such thing as, as, as aging, we see such thing as aging as it's a series of injuries that you collect over the period of years that leads up to the problems that you have when you get, get a little bit older. But the good thing about Tai Chi as well as Qigong is that you could not only um, slow this process down, in some cases you could re reverse it again. Now, in, in Tai Chi, in some of the movements that you watch in Tai Chi, you see that people raise their hands above the head doing like this. This requires a greater deal amount of effort. Blood circulation has to be very high. You have to have the freedom of, freedom of movement. In Taoism um, practice in, of, of Tai Chi, what you need to do is a series of relaxation that cause movement instead of aggravating the body to, to push the body towards movement, such as holding the hands in this, this position here. Now, if you're going to grab something with your hands, typically you, you pull the fingers in inwards using this muscles, hold them tight, and then pull this object towards you. Using the principle of Taoism in Tai Chi, what it, be, what it is is a series of relaxation, such as relaxing the wrist that allows the hands to naturally act the feet and close, and then taking the tension out of the elbow and having the hands coming, coming forward. So when you do this, it actually weakens the hand and the hands come back to you. So you don't have to do this, because just by doing this alone, without doing that kind of action, you increase the tension in the muscles, you increase the amount of lactic acids in the muscles, and you also aggravate the joints, which are, if you just relax and move, there's a series of movements that your body will just do naturally. Such as when you raise your hands, your, art of, your hands automatically will tumble this way. And when you lower your hands, it automatically tumbles this way, unless you decide to stop that move. And this is just the first introduction to your uh, movement in Tai Chi 101. So we'll get back to you on our second set.